So here we are at Travis's garage. He ended with a 88 millimeter turbo, put it out around 1400 horsepower, and then decided that was not enough for him. So this will be a, I don't know, just kind of recording what he's gonna be doing with his build. So here we are down in Travis's garage. Uh, Going to be talking a little bit today about his build here. So uh, take it away, Travis. So tell us a little bit about this motor. Uh, it's a MPS Modern Performance Solutions uh, build. It's got a oh, wow. GT350 block. So it's a GT350 block uh, built by MPS. Yes, uh, stock 5.2 bore, but it's sleeved, it's punched over a little bit, so 5.3-ish, maybe a 5.4. Uh, custom pistons, um, Cali rods, it's got a billet crank. Billet crank? It's got a billet crank. So that's probably why you can spin it so fast. Uh, yeah, we're going to be revving this to 9600. Uh, who, built, who made the crank? I don't know, I have to look at the build sheet. <laughs> uh, probably Bryant or something. I, I don't know. Uh, and the heads are uh, the Box 302 heads plus one on the valves, uh, ported heads, running a uh, custom grind MPS cam, titanium valve strings, retainers, uh, port, uh, ported intake runner as well, flow mat or port match with the intake manifold, also built by MPS. Um, that's pretty much so that's a MPS intake on it as well. Yes. Oh, and sheet metal. It is, and well, it's got also just billet, uh, the the normal billet uh, crankshaft gear, uh, oil pump gears. Yeah. And, but it's also a dry deck, so uh, no coolant through the block. Only running coolant through the heads on this. So. So it's concreted. It is concreted. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much wrapped up on the heads. Uh, running, be, uh, running the cam lockouts on it. Uh, yep. So variable cams are no go on this anymore. Uh, They're locked out. No go. That's correct. Do you know what kind of compression? Yeah, ten to four. Ten, ten to four to one. one. Yep, ten to four to one on that. Um, everything's going to be controlled by the Holly Dominator. Uh, so. Other than that, that's pretty much everything on the engine side. Yeah, it looks like we're running a mechanical fuel pump. Oh yeah, definitely we're running a Magnaflow 750 Outlaw fuel fuel pump. Uh, so I'm not going to run out of fuel or have a fuel failure like we did earlier in the year. So yeah, I think he had a fuel pump fail, and that's what took out his last motor. Yes, uh, primary pump failed uh, last just a couple months ago. First pass off the trailer, uh, just leaned out, burn a hole in one of the pistons. Other than that, it was still running. Uh, I mean, it's just one of the things that comes with racing. Things fail, especially with electrical and high RPM. So, not going to run electrical fuel pumps this time. They tend to crap the bed at high RPMs or voltage drop. 
And then now we are doing uh, twin 76 millimeter turbos on this. I think you had an 88 before. I was running 88 uh, force inductions last time. Now I'm running uh, twin 76, 75 precisions, Gen 2 ball bearings. Uh, so it's going to be feeding it. And you're going to have Nick at PTS Fab do all the work for you? Yeah, Nick at, P at Performance Turbo Systems is going to be doing all the fab work, making the fuel cell. I'm getting this thing ready for Eddie at Elite Performance to tune it. And he's also teaching me how to tune at the same time so I can do my own stuff while he's not around. Has there been any combo on this car, supercharger or turbocharger, that you have not used? Because <laughs> you had the Sentry, you've had Nitrous, you've had the TVS. So you've had, I don't think you've had a twin screw on it. I think the TVS is a Roots. Yeah, I, I, that's true. The first power adder was a... Uh, Roush TVS, then I moved here from Germany, threw nitrous on it, ran the track, uh, ran the piss out of it. Then I decided to go Pro Charger F1C, threw a 4R70 in it, ran that for just a little bit. Didn't really like it. Went turbo, single turbo, uh, turbo 400. It did pretty good there. Uh, and then now I'm here with going with twin 76s uh, and a power glide. So he's got twin 76s now with the power glide, moving from the single 88 to twin 76s. Like you said, uh, Nick is doing all the fab work. Um, so you came up with a car name? Yeah. I'm gonna name it Blue Waffle. Blue Waffle. The Blue Waffle. The Blue Waffle. It's not Harbor Freight, but the Blue Waffle. It's pretty formal. It is a. What are you gonna call it, Mr. Blue Waffle? No, it's just Blue Waffle. Just Blue Waffle. Only some people gonna get it. But yeah. I guess it works. It's gonna work. And uh, snail trails. <laughs> snail trail. You know, snail trails. You know, snails make sense. And then he's like, "Yeah, let's just do blue waffle." I mean, I was like, "That's pretty gross," but yeah, let's do it. For those who don't know what a blue waffle is, don't look it up. You know what? Just do yourself a favor. Don't look it up. Just actually look it up. No. <laughs> no. Sword injectors, ID2000s? ID2000, yes. Are you going to be using an ethanol based fuel? Ignite uh, 114. Ignite 114, so that's not ethanol, is it? Yes, it's 90% ethanol, 10% race gas. Very cool. No, zero gasoline. Are the ID2000s good for ethanol? Yes. Yes, you just you just have to clean them more, you know, after each race season. But yeah, they're, they're good. They just don't have the stainless in, internals. Okay. Or E98. Or E98. So there, it looks like in the suspension, it's got limiters. So you're running all UPR suspension? Uh, yeah, I'm running a UPR into a roll bar. Um, I'm using my upper and lower control arms in the back, adjustable, double adjustable. I'm running their limiters up front, QA1, uh, single adjustable coolers in the front, and running Viking. Uh, shocks in the rear and their springs cool I got a cool over uh, set up in the back and I don't remember the settings I got 175 pounds of back 200 in the front the hell are you doing under there uh, uh, rack it on. the motion race works rack it and mount it some safety glasses on. Aye, right, man, I ain't no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna sit. Oh yeah, so this is for your speed sensor? Yeah, so it's gonna go about like, about like so, you know, hell, however I wanna do it. It's gonna sit kinda like that. The little ring goes there. 
And then I'll get a tooth count. I think it's 18 teeth and put that into the holly and I'll have a speed sensor off that and I can run my traction control off of it. Back your door hinge. Going in with the uh, Larry Jeffers race car doors, 10 pounds a piece. Undo these, doors come off. Very cool. So he's doing the fiberglass doors. Should be here this week. Are you gonna paint them, I assume? No, the car's no. gonna get a wrap job. Car's gonna get wrapped. What color? Uh, brushed aluminum blue. Brushed aluminum blue. So, it's gonna be nice. So what company's doing the wrap? Uh, Sterling Customs. Sterling Customs. Out of Denver, yes. So he's just... I like fire. <laughs> Who doesn't like fire? All right, so I guess, uh, what is the overall goal with this project? How about horsepower-wise, do you know? Do you have a specific... Not really trying to run horsepower numbers, I'm trying to run an actual... Track number? Track number, track so, time. What's the track time that you're going for? I'd love to get a low seven second pass at Denver altitude. Low seven at Denver, huh? Yes, that'd be great. That would be great. Any idea in mile per hour that you're going for? Like 180, 190? Uh, 190 would be awesome. Uh, it has the gearing for it, and it, it has turbos for it, and it's definitely, car weighs less than 3,000 pounds, so it should do it. Uh, any specific classes you're gonna be running in? Uh, probably PSCA, maybe XDR. The XDA, mm, PSCA? Yeah, PSCA, XDR, mm -hmm. uh, or even, uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of small tire racing, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling this year. That'll be fun. Yeah. Any big uh, national events you want to go to? Try to hit up uh, Mod, Mod Motor Nationals, obviously. I'd like to hit up some NMRA, Turbo Coyote stuff. Uh, King of the Four Valve is a class I'd like to run eventually one day, but there's some bad boys in there. Yeah, there are. Um, I'd like to do some uh, some more street car takeover stuff. That stuff is so fun. Um, just to get out there. So the street car takeover? Yeah, they're, they're actually fun events, just the, the group of different people out there that go to race with different cars. Yeah, you went to the one in Denver and Kansas last year, right? Yeah, so I went to Denver and then, then I went to the one in uh, Topeka. So, did pretty good, especially in Denver, one, two classes. Uh, yeah, you won LSX versus Modular and the Roll Race, right? Yep, Roll Drive, Roll Race, won that one. Uh, went out to... Uh, Kansas, uh, first pass, lost the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are pictures of you actually yeah. on the wall, running with that, uh, running without a hood. The, the hoodless horseman. The hoodless horseman, also yeah. known as the blue waffle. Yeah, but uh, when I went to Kansas, did all right. Uh, ended up breaking just because I melted a mass airflow wire harness. Couldn't figure out what it was. Therefore, I had to disqualify myself for running in the finals of the roll race. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, should have won that one, but mm -hmm. stuff happens. Well, now you got a manual throttle body, and he'll be running off volumetric efficiency with the Holly, so... <laughs> yeah, no more fly-by-wire, off throttle stuff. Uh, it's easier to tune and control that way. Yeah, I can't wait to see the Holly. Looks yeah. like it's really, really cool shit. T-minus three days, I get the wired in. T minus three days for that. Uh, it's not like I'm counting or you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, you know. <laughs> not like you're counting, yeah. <laughs> He's like forty eight hours, twenty nine minutes. Get that wire in, soon as it's done, goes to the fab shop. And then soon after that, it'll be on the dyno, tuning it, and then hopefully we can make TX TX two K Oh, so you wanna do TX two K, huh? I wanna do that this year, yeah. It'd be cool. It's gonna be nasty. Yeah. We'll see what it does. I'd like to get a few test hits on it beforehand, but if not, I'm sure... So obviously know. you'll still be running a small radiator for the heads. Actually, no. No radiator for no, the heads? Zero radiator on this car. That's Oh yeah, so it's going to come out of your icebox? To the air to water intercooler. The air to water intercooler reservoir, I should say. Yep. Uh, and then the air to water intercooler for the turbo system all plums in with the heads. Are you going to run your uh, trans lines through it? Too, to keep those cool? No, not yet. Uh, I'm going to see what it does first. I have a really big uh, trans cooler on the back. Um, 
and I'll be running a trans cooler through the dominator so we'll keep an eye on that in case something happens it'll safe hold, go into safe hold if it gets too hot yeah that's that's definitely the benefit of standalones is all the safeties you can program into them so if something does fail it doesn't risk any parts breaking or at least reduces that risk yes exactly so so you're going to be under about 3,000 pounds which is going to be crazy um Est estimated weight we're going for 2,900 without me since I'm fat, probably about 3,100 with me. We'll see. Uh, I've already taken 320 pounds out of the car since last year. Uh, yeah, those doors are going to help a ton. And I, yeah, I still have more to go. So uh, there's a few areas I want to hit on, taking weight out that I haven't touched yet. Still got some wire harness I got to take out. Might end up doing the uh, taking the trans tunnel out, and doing a lightweight aluminum tunnel. If I can. Yeah, he's going full race car. Yeah, there's no sense of keeping it a street car anymore. It's, it's too much of a pain. Street car. Street. <laughs> With a K. With the K. Yeah. That's that's the damn truth. Yeah, so I really think that's about it on this guy. Um like I said earlier, I was probably gonna splice in some of his previous runs, but yeah, for his there's a lot of people going really fast lately with these motors, so be cool to see one in Colorado get that done as well. I know Bud should be getting done too, so his car's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, there's there's gonna be a lot of fast coyotes next year. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's definitely gonna be interesting next year. Yeah, and it's like even going down to Mod Nats if you want to run King of the Four Valve, you got to be running close to 200 miles an hour in the quarter, so. Just a little low modular. Just a little modular, even though they look enormous. Yeah. <laughs> they head slow for sure. That they do. Alright, so. Go back that way. Really think that's about it. Anything else you want to say, Travis? Any sponsors you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, I want to thank uh, Nick, Performance Turbo Systems, and PTS Fab. He's uh, went above and beyond helping me out, getting my car back to where it should have been a while back. Uh, Elite Performance, Eddie. Uh, Eddie's a stand-up guy. He's come, a, he's went out of his way to help me out, getting the car ready, uh, tuning. Uh, last motor he assembled, he did a great job. Um, so he built your last motor? He did. Very cool. And uh, he did a great job. It, it was a great motor. It ran so good. And then I uh, want to thank Doug Cook at Motion Raceworks. Uh, got the, I'm running his engine, Coyote engine diaper, custom fit for the Coyote. It fits so good. I'm uh, running his parachute mount. It, it is it's just a great piece. I uh, thank uh, Preston for doing the hydro work over at Ison. Um He hooked me up. Um, and as far as uh, sponsors, I guess 303, Matt over there, he, he hit me up with my decals. Oh, and of course, UPR. I can't forget those guys. <laughs> always there. They've always been there from the beginning on suspension stuff. Steve Gellis, um, he's like my brother. He's helped me out since I've been stationed in Germany with every mod I've ever made, coming from the TVS all the way to suspension parts. Yeah, and you ran this thing on the Nurburgring, didn't he you? He helped me out with the suspension setup on the Nurburgring when our road course did. <laughs> with, yeah. Just come a long way. And then now in drag racing, he's got me set up on the UPR stuff for drag race, and it does nothing but hook and goes. I mean, you know, best of cut this year was a one two nine sixty foot, and it still wasn't dialed in the way it should have been, but it still hooked and went. So we'll see if we can get a 1-1 one -one next year. Yeah, here's hoping. It'll do it. So that's that's all I can think of off the top of my head. If there's anyone else, I'm probably I'll probably remember it later. Yeah, it's kind of hard to put you on the spot like that and have you remember everything. Yes, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hopefully we'll be seeing more of this car soon. I'll probably play. I'll probably be putting another video together as this car progresses, as we get the Holly on, and once the turbo stuff gets fabbed up, I'll probably run by and then. Um, I'm not sure he's going to be able to show all the power it makes on the dyno cars that typically go above a certain point just stop working correctly on dynos.
At least that's what, what I've seen. It did last year, and it's going to be making way more than last year. So <laughs> we'll get it to a certain point, and then we'll have to track tune it, which it's better anyway. Yeah, the mile an hour would be an indicator of what kind of power you're putting out. But with twin 76, is really the sky's the limit, especially for these cars. It's not like it's a billet, big block everything. It's still a Ford block, Ford heads, obviously sheet metal intake, but... Very simple combo. Yeah, simple, until you include the concrete and shit like that. Concrete's <laughs> cheap at Home Depot. Concrete's cheap. Yeah, the Home Depot blue waffle car. Actually Lowe's, because they give military discounts. Yeah, go to Lowe's now. <laughs> they get better discounts than Home Depot. Don't forget that, if you're military. Alright, man, well, uh, it's awesome stopping by today, and... Uh, Hopefully we get to see some more of this car in the future.